The government, UN agencies and various stakeholders have ended a national dialogue in the capital, Juba, to discuss issues of impunity on sexual and gender-based violence in South Sudan. After the country's crisis in July, the Ministry of Gender, Child and Social Welfare say they are working on strengthening the implementation of the 2015 to 2020 National Action Plan, which was launched in 2015 on the UN Security Council Resolution 1325 on Women, Peace and Security, and other related resolutions. The objectives of the National Action Plan include the protection of women and girls, including those with disabilities against any form of sexual and gender-based violence, respect for human rights, human dignity and equality, working on enabling peace and security stakeholders, and increasing women's participation in the prevention and resolution of conflicts, among other objectives. Speaking at the end of the two-day dialogue, which looked at responses of the government to address impunity on gender-based violence and support survivors, Rachel Nyadak, the presidential advisor on gender and human rights, said the country must protect women so as to end violence against them. All national legislation and other action to combat violence against women should be in line with international standards. We also know that culture and religion can never be invoked to justify violence against women and girls. We have broken the silence and the country has put many laws, policies and programs in place. <laughs> An official from the United Nations Development Program highlighted some issues. One key hi highlight was that es essentially there appears to be a reactive mode to gender-based violence, but what the action plan is advocating for is more of a preventive and a protective mode. So essentially all the issues you know, come around um, peace and reconciliation, um, trauma and healing in relation to women, um, the, the intersection of human rights with the customary norms and values and how all this can be married together to be able to have action points and implement this national action plan. Esther Ikere, the undersecretary in the Ministry of Gender, Child and Social Welfare, said South Sudan, as a member of the United Nations, is obliged to implement the Security Council Resolution 1325. We have uh, some weak institutions that may need institutional reform. We also need the security sector particularly to be reformed. We need the strengthening of the judiciary and the justice system, the criminal justice system in, in general. And we also need to create a lot of awareness and sensitization to our people. So we need to break the culture of, uh, the culture of violence. We need to break the culture of silence to ensure that people also come and report on these cases that are taking place. South Sudan's women have suffered numerous forms of violence and it was recognized that partnerships between government institutions and non-governmental organizations was key, with the judiciary, academia, media and religious organs, among others, weighing in to help end violence.